All right, this is chapter one, video number three. Uh, this time we're gonna go ahead and talk about different types of sampling. Uh, now in the last video we did discuss uh, that with statistics we are looking to gather a sample from a general population, uh, but today we're gonna talk about what methods can we use to get that sample. All right, um, so first type of sampling is a simple random sample, and that is where every single person has an equal probability of being selected. Um, so the general, uh, the easiest example of simple random sampling is just names out of a hat. Every single person has their name, all are thrown into a hat, and then you select however many you need for the sample. Now, uh, realistically though, uh, most often we use computers to do this. We use a random number generator um, and then use that. So let's go ahead and say that our population, our population is an entire school. Let's go ahead and just say it's a high school of right around a thousand kids. Uh, and we wanna take a simple random sample. Well, one way we could do that is to use a computer and randomly select student IDs. Uh, so we could choose this student because his ID was selected, uh, this student because um, their ID was selected, so on and so forth. Uh, randomly selecting people based off of whether or not their ID number comes up. Uh, and that is a simple random sample. All right, now, simple random sample is where everybody has an equal probability. Uh, the next type is a stratified sample. And let's say that we wanna make sure that we have boys and girls in our sample. So here's how we would do a stratified sample. We would split this up. Ooh, that's a really bad bracket. Uh, we would split these up into the two strata or groups that we are interested in. In this case, we have a group of boys and we also have a group of girls. And then we would use the random sampling, uh, the simple random sampling. So let's say that we were to select five boys at random. One, two, three, four, five. So we have at least five boys. And then also we would select from the other group at least five girls. So one, two, three, four, and five. All right, so let me go ahead and sum that up real quick. A stratified sample is that first you're going to split into groups and then select, select from all groups. All right, so that is a stratified sample. All right, a cluster sample. If you think of a cluster, you think of things that are stuck together. Uh, let's go ahead and say that these students are, uh, we're looking at their third period class and these people are in class together. Uh, these people are in class together. Oops, that's a really bad box. Uh, these are in class together. Uh, these students are in class together. And then finally, these groups or these students are in class together. Now a cluster sample would just be saying, hey, let's just grab one of those groups and sample everybody in the group. So let's say you're walking down and you see a third period, uh, period English class and we would just say, hey, let's just grab that entire group and we'll sample them together. So that is a cluster sample. All right, so small difference between these two. With a stratified, you split them into groups, and then you select from all the groups. However, with a cluster sample, they are split into groups, and then you select an entire group or groups to sample. All right, because it is possible, maybe you wanted two groups, maybe you said, hey, let's grab that English class and then also that math class. Um, so that is a cluster sample. All right, systematic. A systematic sample um, is when you select every so many students, uh, every so many students uh, in a group. So let's say we are standing outside of the building and we just wanna get every fifth person that walks in. So one, two, three, four, five. You're the fifth person that walks in, you're gonna get sampled. One, two, three, four, five. You're the tenth person, you're gonna go in. One, two, three, four, five, you're sampled, then you would be sampled, so on and so forth. That is a systematic sample. So that is where every so many students, so for example, in this one, every fifth student, 
or it could be every 15th student. Um, but you, depending on the size of the population, you choose every so many. All right, now these one, two, three, four, these four are all random samples. However, I want to talk about a really, really bad sampling method, and that is a convenience sample. Uh, let's say that a teacher wants to get opinions on students, so she just selects her favorite 10 students, and she asks, oh, hey, um, what do you feel about math class right now? And she only samples her students. Well, you might end up choosing the teacher's pets, or you might uh, end up choosing uh, students that uh, really, really hate math. Um, but a convenient sample is not very helpful um, because we're often drawn to people that are like us or um, that are agreeable, uh, and it's not necessarily going to be representative of the entire population. So you want to use one of those random samples. All right, so those are the one, two, three, four, five. Those are the five different sampling methods we'll talk about in this course. Um, and that is it for video number three.